So, you know, we, we released Hospital oof, three, three and a bit years ago now. Um, and we've seen a lot of people play our game over the last three years. And one of the things that became a little bit frustrating was people were building their hospitals in very similar ways. There was a bit of a limited tool set of what you could do differently to other people. There was a lack of creativity and personality. So we decided with Campus we'd want to give people a lot more power to create a campus of their design. We're still in the same world but we wanted to expand on that world so that players could get involved in customising and setting out their own layout. So obviously all the cool things that we got from the community such as cut and paste, uh, room templates, um, we're obviously bringing them over to, to campus, that's a given. But on top of that, we wanted to give people the ability to use the tools that our artists and designers use to create levels. So you can lay out the campuses how you want them to look. I think one of the biggest drives in campus is to give the player that free reign to be able to create whatever they want. If they want a, a kind of a really sparse looking campus and very kind of linear and very kind of austere, they can do that or they can have a really creative, totally crazy looking campus. We have put some starting points in the game, we give you some infrastructure, some buildings are there, some rooms even are there and you can then build upon that. But um, we're not actually forcing anybody to start from scratch and build from scratch, but some people just want to. I think some people just want to go, why, why have you put a building that shape in there? That's not mine, that's yours. So we're giving people the chance to break down what we've done as a development team and start again. But some people are going, oh, that's fine. That gives me a good sort of handle on what I need to do and I can build upon that. In hospital, you had your your kind of building and you had to build within the confines of that building. From the start on campus, you can add bits to the building, you can totally change the shape of it. If you suddenly get a request to build something new, you don't then go, oh, what do I sacrifice? I've got to get rid of this or I've got to cut that out. You can go, well, I'll just add that bit on. So any individual player doesn't need to worry that they've got to dress their uh, campus up in any particular way um, because they've got the flexibility. You can be creative as you want. The ability to be able to do procedural paths to properly create weird shapes and do whatever you want, because obviously before we had very basic kind of shapes. Um, you can do the same with hedges. The foliage now, you can change the colours of pretty much everything. You can, you can really go into a granular level with it. If you're massively into horticulture, you can, you can then plant a load of flower beds, trees, put down forests. It's going to be uh, a case of what the player wants to do. It's just giving them the ability to, to add into their game. Creativity does add value in the game. It does. If you make pretty rose gardens, people are more likely to be attracted to each other if they walk around and stroll through the rose gardens together. So there's definitely an impact in the game, but it, it's mainly for an aesthetic pleasing quality. You know, it's there for you as a player to enjoy your campus the way you want it to look. We've added in this feature, which allows you to not start the academic year till you're ready. So you don't, we kind of stop time. It's not like a pause because the, the game carries on, you know, people wander around, but they don't get on with their coursework until you're ready to start the year. So you can just, when you're ready, you've done a bit of redesign, you then go press the button and the academic year starts. I think there's, a, there's enough there for every kind of player. There will be the players who will spend hours and hours and hours fiddling with things and changing things and making all these amazing, intricate um, campuses. But I think, it's just as much fun. You can just sit and play the game and enjoy the campus and if you want to make little adjustments you can, but it, it doesn't affect the, the flow of the gameplay. It's just there as an added extra so that if you want to dip in and change something, the tools are there to enable you to do it. It's about freedom. It's all about freedom to the player.